hey guys today we are making progressive pieces we're taking some mixed media bits where we call these chippies as well we're going to utilize these on some two and a half by three and a half art trading cards then from the art trading card we are going to decorate and mount this on a three by five index card so let's get started let's just take you know the stack of chippies that we have over here let's do a little decorating here and I'm going to move these things to the side we already have a super nice base of color to work with because these items are from from cereal boxes and cereal boxes always are highly decorated got a lot going on because you know when you have a cereal box you sometimes like to um like to read the cereal box as you're eating the cereal it's a uh, saturday morning so you <laughs> kind of like oh i remember when i used to do that um we're we're going to go ahead and build on this part of the art trading card. Now the idea is that uh, in addition to, you know, whatever bits and bobs we can come up with uh, as far as decorating, that we're also going to use uh, a chippy on here as well. So let's just kind of get started on uh, covering this. And I kind of want, I kind of want to go small. I don't know why. That's just kind of what's kind of calling to me today. You know, you got to listen to the call, y'all. Listen to the call. See what's going on out there. Seeing, you know, kind of, um, I call this co-creating because to me that's what it is. You know, we're, we're just kind of going to layer some things on. We're listening to our little inner, inner artist as she wants to create today and giving her you know, the the attention that she so much deserves. A lot of times we're kind of caught up in, um, you know, I'm, I'm fond of the, <laughs> I'm really fond of the adage that um, uh, comparison is the thief of joy. Comparison is also the thief of uh, creativity. I'm working hard to get the back off this little napkin right here. And I think we're going to put that right there. I'm a little concerned that the first one that I did over there is... Uh, and you can see that we see some of the background cereal box image through here. So that's what's made me a little concerned about this one. But she doesn't seem to have two pieces. Though she might, y'all. And that's going to be... Well, you know, it's it, she's not coming... She's, she's, she's not coming easily apart. <laughs> we'll just leave her like she is. All right, so we've got our, you know, we just covered our art trading card. Just like you were going to uh, add an embellishment or add some words or whatever, when you get to that point, add a chippy. Just add a chippy. And as you kind of go through your stash, you'll kind of discover ways to I kind of like that kind of bump this out in a really fun way kind of like the Monday thing and then I think I'll put something down here alright so we've done our art trading card we're choosing a chippy Putting that right there and then I've still got that little strip right there that shows the cereal box which is cool but I think I'm gonna cover that up I think I'm gonna cover it up with this I really like this I think Miss Cheryl sent this along uh, she sent me a a birthday box and it was so much fun okay so let's do that and then let's find a word no you could have just you know we could have used the word Monday but let's choose today is full of possibilities 
right. I want to find a way to, um, now I have these three by five blanks already cut. This is, this is from something that Leanne sent. Leanne always chooses these beautiful colors. But what I'm thinking might work here a little bit better is, um, some coffee dyed paper. I mean, coffee dyed index cards, you know, still the three by five index card, but that might work really well. I'm kind of liking that. Kind of liking it. I, I might push it up and kind of trim that off. You know, because it doesn't have to be, right? It doesn't have to be 3 by 5 It can be a different size. Alright, so we just made... A progressive piece. Progressive, you know, if you look at the definition of progressive is happening or developing gradually, you know, in stages, and that's what we're doing. We're actually staging our chippies to make art trading cards, to make three by five index cards, to hopefully put on the front of a greeting card, right? Or whatever you want to do with it. All right, let's get another one. Now, I kind of like, really love these napkins that we got going over here. My only problem is I really should have pulled the backs off these, but, you know, oh well. I didn't. I kind of like this, too. This is another Liam piece. Kind of like this. I've got some purple over here too. Okay, so lots of possibilities. Let's go ahead. Hey, Tammy, why do you put glue stick over a whole surface before you even know what you're doing? Because you got to work really fast. And if you're working really fast, you don't have time to think about it. If you don't have time to think about it, you make better decisions in the end. I think. It's just my little opinion. Another sweet piece from Cheryl. I'm going to pick up on the this, you know, this awesome little border strip that I just created out of some happy mail. Isn't that just interesting? Gosh, the world is an interesting place. There we go. Now we've got our art trading card covered. Let's trim her up. Oops. That'll make a nice torn edge. Alright. Alright, let's decide what to put on here. And then let's decide how we're going to bump this out to make it bigger. Um, hmm, I kind of like that because it, now this is a chippy from my chippy stack. Let's use that. Very pretty. Just like that. Let's see if we can use that really gorgeous blue that Leanne sent along. I'm also seeing um, that you might want to, you might want to find your scissors <laughs> and trim this up a little bit better. My small scissors are dull. And you might even want to add, cut that very well. Maybe add, let's grab, mm, ink pad, ink pad, oh, I've got buried, i got my Tim Holtz just buried in here, whoops, great, let's go with, I really love that frayed burlap. 
an all-purpose, multi-purpose ink pad. I'm not a huge big fan of inking everything, but you know, in this case, I think it would be nice. Okay, let's do that. It's pretty. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Okay, here we go. And I see these would look really super neat on there. Miss Cheryl sent these along as well. They're wee tiny hearts. They're wee tiny. Almost can't see them. They're so cool. All right, so here. And let's do one at the bottom. We also, we don't have a word on here, so let's... Let's find one. We have the word heart. That would be nice since we've got little hearts on here. Quite cool. Oops. All right. All right, we've got two done. Let's do one more and see how we could make our progressive pieces even bigger. This is so pretty. This is from Miss Sandy. I've got some pieces over here from Mr. Cody, too. That's lovely. We didn't... We didn't layer that. But that's ookie dookie. And that's going to make a beautiful border strip at some point. Okay. I am going to use one of these napkins. Mmm, wow. Color. Color, color. So pretty. There we go. And we'll trim this off. I need to sharpen my scissors. You know, we talked a little bit about planned obsolescence um, last week. It's the concept in marketing that any that people will not repair things; they'll just replace them. And repairing something often costs more than replacing the whole item. You know, and the item is plastic, and who wants to replace a big piece of plastic? Um, That's pretty, but I need something. I like that. So, Chippy, art trading card. Art trading card. Two. I've got a couple choices here. So I can use that. We'll see how that looks. That looks good. I've got my index cards, copy dot index cards. I'm kind of liking the blue. Um, let's see what else we have over here. Okay, we'll just go with the blue. I think that's pretty. Um, since I've got my ink out, 
Let's do this. And while I've got my ink out, I'm also going to, I'm also going to go ahead and ink this as well. I tore the edges, torn edges, for me, helps um, the ink kind of get absorbed into the paper. I am... Um, a poor inker and I'm a poor stamper. It's <laughs> like, oh, I was standing behind the door when the good Lord handed out the brains to do that. And my friend Judy is like a, wow. She makes the most gorgeous greeting cards. I think we're going to do that too. That might work. just need to get out some greeting cards. And see. Oh, that's, see, that's really nice. That's nice. We could add some ribbon or something like that to them. Yeah, that kind of added just needed pop right there. All right. Now let's dig out some greeting cards. Let's see what we can find real quick. Um, I got some sweet birthday cards, but I don't see them right now. Hey, let's use some used Let's use some used Christmas cards. Okay, so this is the idea, right? So this is a greeting card. And remember, we always like to really transform greeting cards. Let's do that real quick. Let's just kind of pop something on here. Let's do a quick collage on the cover of this greeting card. Let's hold it out to work with it. And I'm going to keep the borders up here because they're kind of blue and gold. It looks real nice. You can paint these as well. I love the idea of transforming seasonal items into something else. I think it's a handy handy tool to have in your toolbox. I've got that little piece. I can put that up there. So just a quick collage. Now what did we do? We took our small chippy bits. We mounted them. We decorated art trading cards. We mounted our chippy bits onto the art trading cards. Then we took the art trading cards and we mounted them on the 3x5 index cards. And now we're using the 3x5 index cards as the front of a greeting card. I need one more thing right here. And there it is. There it is. Now I've got a couple choices here. I can do that, which is pretty. I can do that. That almost kind of suits the little background better. And there we go. Progressive art pieces. Progressive pieces. All right, let's do one more. Well, actually, we can do two more. Because luckily, I have a couple of these cards here. If you're in my Patreon group, this is your printable this week. It's 
so you can try this yourself. I love doing printables for my Patreon folks. Okay, I need to find another big-ish piece. That's nice right there. This is from Sandy. Look at that. She did such a gorgeous job. I've got my fan going, and that's like, it kind of draws out my glue stick. I have to be careful about that. these two pieces down. Let's get, let's get a little bit of yellow. Now this is from an envelope from Kathy and Cody. Pretty, 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 pretty yellow. Here we go. Let's do this. And you'll notice that I'm not, you know, I'm leaving just a little bit over here. Because it's a wee bit of interest, isn't it? Okay, a little more. It's fun to look through all your pieces and see if you can find just one more piece. One more. Uh, sorry, I kind of got lost thinking about something else. All right, we're going to use that that three. But oh my gosh, Leanne's got some pretty color right here. Let's do that. Because it's interesting. Do we do this? If you're mailing a card like this, it might need a little extra postage, you know, because it's a, it's a bit, um, it's a bit chunky. So you might need just a wee bit more postage. Stick an extra stamp on it. Here we go. Let's see. Kind of trying to be a wee bit mindful of what we've got going on the front of here. You guys, I watched a really good movie last night. It's called, uh, I like Michael Shannon. He was in the movie The Shape of Water, which is one of the best movies I've ever seen. Loved it. And um, it's, it's a movie called Take Shelter. It's a very interesting movie. I really enjoyed it. I watch movies in segments because I can't sit still that long. The doggies are, <laughs> they need attention or whatever is going on. Okay, I'm going to leave these 
parts of words here. Oh, totally forgot to ink that. And I think it would make it, you know, kind of stand out and look a bit, a wee bit better. There we go. All right. Now, so we took chippies, you know, just our little chippy bits that we make quite often. We decorated art trading cards. We mounted the art trading card onto a 3 by 5 index card. And then we mounted the index card onto the front of a greeting card. And of course, these are used greeting cards. So let's let's kind of see what we made. We've got one that says Monday, today is full of possibilities. We've got one that says to be in love. And one that says heart, kind of multi-purpose greeting cards done in a progressive fashion. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.